Hey, what's good? When does that know everything in the clutch? And uh, as we all know, today is uh, NBA draft day, and uh, lots of things are going to be happening going on around the NBA between re signings, trades, draft picks, a whole bunch of transactions are going to be going on around the NBA. And uh, I'm going to be able to uh, cover a series of these um, transactions today, and I'm just going to go by in order of uh, the news I have received uh, throughout the day. And um, first order of business is um, the Miami Heat have uh, agreed to uh, extend Bam out of bio for three years, $166 million on top of his current deal that he has two years left on. So basically what that means is um, once his uh, current deal, which expires in two years is through, he, that's when his three year $166 million extension kicks in, which means he will be able to stay with the Miami Heat until the 2028-29 NBA season, which is uh, very huge and important. Um, for both the Miami Heat and Bam Adebayo as um, Bam is a very important player for the Heat and he's done amazing things for Miami during his uh, tenure for the Heat and now that Udonis Haslam has retired they basically have uh, said that Bam Adebayo he's the, the captain for the Heat and he's the new OG which makes sense because he's the longest tenured Miami Heat player surprisingly I'll admit like it was um I didn't really know about this, but because of the amount of uh, trades and uh, retire, retire players or free agent signings, Bam has been the longest uh, tenure player and has been with the Heat since uh, 2017. And he is uh, well accustomed to the Miami Heat organization, their system, their culture, and how everything works around there. So it makes sense that uh, um, Bam Adebayo, he is their captain. And he is amazing for the Heat. He is a uh, a really capable player being able to guard positions one through five <clears throat> and he is able to do a lot more than um what he is um needed to do uh, he goes above and beyond he does what he does best on the courts and uh is a really great defender it, people make an argument that he, whether or not he should be defensive player of the year over rudy gobert he was after all he was a top three uh finalist and on top of that um bam Adebayo, he just consistently shows out and uh doesn't like cause too much trouble, he puts his head down, plays to the best of his abilities. I just personally believe that um, for the Miami Heat to be able to compete and uh, win a championship, they need now to be able to get uh, a true center to be able to like take care of the dirty work so Bam Adebayo can focus on what he does best and be able to flourish and not have to sacrifice either offense so he can be better on defense or vice versa. Because Bam Adebayo, as great of a player he is, he is undersized for a center, for, if I'm going to be completely un, unbiased and completely honest here, because he does, he did get exposed last year in the finals of uh, playing against Nikola Jokic, and it can be a challenge for him to guard um, the likes of Joel Embiid, Giannis Antetokounmpo, or even Anthony Davis, like all the top um, centers around the league. It can be, um, it can be very uh, challenging and uh, very demanding. Um, for uh, Bam Adebayo, especially like with the fact that he has to, uh, there are going to be times where he has to guard um, the the best scorer on the on an opposing team, or, and on top of that, he has to go on the on the interior to be able to guard uh, the the best big man. It's it's going to wear him out, and eventually, like he will get exposed or tired out in a two on one situation. So uh, for the Miami Heat to be able to complete um, their roster and to truly compete for a championship, I do believe. They and I've been saying this for several seasons now. They need to get a true big, and um, like now the Heat are looking to do that. Um, they're finally admitting to this, so that's that's good. Um, just hopefully it's not too late. Um, and thing is, I mean, I I want the Heat to win. I mean, I'm a Heat fan. I said it numerous times in uh, in this channel. It's even in my bio if you check it out. And um, I, as you can see right here, um, these photos are uh, signed by Miami Heat players. Um, not to brag, but I'm just saying like, this is like, I'm a huge Heat fan overall and I want them to succeed, but um, being able to like, they just like are right there at the cusp. They have the facilities, they have the training, they have the system to be able to get this team over the hump. It's just a matter of like getting the right pieces to complement Jimmy Butler and Bam Adebayo, as we just saw with the past, if we want to just look back, just the past two NBA champions, the Denver Nuggets and the Boston Celtics, they have built their teams and have gathered players, whether through signings, whether through trades or even through the draft, to perfectly complement and tailor to Nikola Jokic and Jamal Murray's game, I'm talking about the Denver Nuggets, or for the Boston Celtics, being able to tailor their games for Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. And what, what are the results? 
they end up going on a massive tear. They dominated, they steamrolled through the playoffs and become champions in easy fashion, like with hardly any competition. The Heat have failed to do that. They have, they're known for getting the best out of like any player to maximize their talent, but you can only do that so much. And this, this game is all about um, teamwork and effort. And the Miami Heat, they do need to get more players involved to or sign or trade for players that perfectly fit Jimmy Butler's playing style or Bam Adebayo to be able to uh, complement their game so that Jimmy Butler doesn't have to go in like ridiculous like uh, superhero mode and um, to be able to carry the, the load for the team and then by the time the finals get around Jimmy Butler is more likely to get injured or not play as well because he's tired or same with Bam Adebayo because if he has to like guard positions one through five eventually he's going to get gassed out and uh he'll get exposed and become an easy target on defense because of the amount of work he has to put up with for the first uh two or three rounds uh i don't know if he see that because at the end of the day these guys are all human beings and everybody needs help because it's a team game so i want the heat to be able to win and to be able to succeed but this is a great move to keep what they're doing but for them to compete for a championship they need to complete the puzzle and they're it's just it's right there it's just they're on the cusp of it so we'll just have to wait and see but um enough about that um Bam Adebayo, he's uh, done amazing things for the Miami Heat, and uh, this past NBA season, he's done really well for the Heat. He has uh, averaged 19.3 points per game, 10.4 rebounds, 3.9 assists, 1.1 steals, 0.9 blocks, shooting 52.1% from the field, 35.7 from three-point range, while having 2.3 turnovers. He was an NBA All-Star this past season, further cementing and uh, proving that he is, <clears throat> sorry, that he is uh, the Miami Heat's uh, team captain. Um, playing uh, the majority of the games and uh, being a finalist for uh, the Defensive Player of the Year. So overall, like uh, this is well deserved for Bam Adebayo. Um, and let's see if he can uh, take it up a notch. See if he can, um, especially with uh, Jimmy Butler being out, can Bam Adebayo be the consistent number one option? Because we don't know if Jimmy Butler, because of his age, if he's going to decline in performance or if Jimmy Butler is not going to play as. Um, as often in the regular season, which could hinder the Heat's um, playoff standing, um, especially come uh, come April. So we just have to wait and see. Can Bam Adebayo lead the Heat to at least clinch a playoff spot so they don't have to play the play-in tournament and be able to like be proven as a number one option? So that's uh, my challenge to him. And my challenge to the Heat front office, can you guys get a true center and a, a true um, or, or a scoring point guard, a scoring point guard and um, a true center to be able to complete this team. Because if you look at the past two NBA champions, the Denver Nuggets and the Boston Celtics, the Heat's main rival at this point, they have won titles by basically getting players specifically to their top two stars. The Miami Heat, they have yet to do that. So let's just see if this is the year they finally do that. And let's see, who knows, maybe we've got Will and Bill win a championship next season if they follow this formula that we've been seeing the past two seasons. So Heat fans, let me know what you guys think. How do you guys feel about Bam on Bio? Do you guys like the re-signing? Um, do you guys not? Is it too much? Um, do you believe uh, he should be traded or should he um, stay or whatever the case may be? I would just love to hear you guys out in the comment section so we can discuss down below. Thank you so much for uh, each of your time. I certainly love and appreciate every single last one of you guys. Please like and subscribe to this channel. I'm certainly grateful for every single one of y'all. God bless and Talk soon.